unconscious chanting. You're chanting. I want to kill everyone. Satan is good. Satan is our pal. Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlogs Top 3 Year End Black Metal Releases. Now, why is it a top three? Well, because I didn't really get to buy as much as I wanted this year when it came to black metal releases. So, I only review, in case you're new to this channel, I only review physical copies of albums I own. So, you will not be seeing Antichrist Siege Machine, Morbid Triumph on this list, otherwise you would. But, let's get on with this. We're going to be blasting Caveman Cult, Savage Wars Destiny, from Miami, Florida. If I would, was to tell you that the drummer from Torch is in this band, would you believe me? But this is some amazing, vicious as fuck, bestial, black death war metal, whatever you want to call it. Just pure, vicious, goddamn hatred of awesomeness right here. The bludgeoning. Oh my god, so goddamn good. Savage War is Destiny by Caveman Cult. Awesome, awesome stuff. And first off, now this is going to be a top three, but I'm going to go over five black metal records, okay? But first off, Wolves in the Throne Room, Thrice Woven, did not make the list. This did not make the cut. The only reason I am showing this right now is the Steve Von Till track. The old ones are with us. But, uh, yeah, pretty much a return to form, the Wolves in the Throne Room. Amazing atmospheric black metal, but a lot of these tracks overstay their welcome. It's just, I don't know. Wolves in the Throne Room, to me, have just way more better material than this. Like, for example, Two Hunters. And even their 2015 demo, I like a lot more than I like this full length. It has two tracks I actually like, and uh, you have The Old Ones Are With Us with uh, Steve Von Till from The Rosis, which is, oh my god, it, it makes this worth buying, honestly. And also, Mother Al, Father Ocean. Amazing tracks, but it just... There's five songs on here, so the songs are a little long, and they really do kind of start to overstay their welcome. But besides that, a lot of you are going to love this. I mean, it is what it is. It's a great piece of music. It's just I went into this expecting Two Hunters Part 2, and I was a little bit just let down. But overall you know it really does capture some great atmosphere and whatnot and it's a great record in that wolves in the throne room universe but in the grand scheme of black metal and especially the atmospheric variety i feel like it fell a little bit flat than it should have but this is on artnesia records and like i said there's two tracks on here that to me make this just a hundred percent worth your time and it's just a gorgeous piece of music but at the same time it just doesn't hold a candle up to uh, some of the other releases of this year so wolves in the throne room price woven is getting an honorable mention but i barely listen to this record like it's weird. I'll throw the Steve Von Till track on, and I'm like, oh, this is sick. And then I just turn the record off. It's very weird. And speaking of atmospheric, gorgeous black metal, next up is Bind Room Recordings at Portland, Maine's Falls of Raros, Vigilance of Perennial. Vigilance Perennial, I'm sorry. But this is great. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous slab of atmospheric black metal, but they added a lot more of a progressive element to this, to where 
I find it a little bit distracting at times, where, like, Hewn, Hail Wind and Hewn Oak just drag you in and whatnot. This is, again, a gorgeous, amazing slab of black metal, but it just has that tiny, tiny little voice in the back of my head saying, hey, their older material is a lot like gnarlier, like you should probably be listening to that instead, but Colin Marderson always does a great job with production, especially when it comes to black metal, and he made Falls of Raros just sound so fucking good on this. Like, this would make my list, but I do want to make it a top three, just to make it, you know, a little bit more digestible and whatnot, but Falls of Raros, Vigilance Perennial, if you're a fan of Early Over, Wolves in the Throne Room, Aglock, Panopticon, yeah, you need to check this out. It's definitely worth your time, but I just, I love fucking Hailwind and Hewn Oak, and this is a great, great piece of music right here. Seriously, absolutely beautiful. Like, White Granite, it just, it takes your mind someplace completely else and it's just beautiful i i really love this album but it just it did it, it's it's actually too pretty for this list and you're gonna see why because now it's time for the fucking top three black metal records of the year and we have two u.s fucking acts in here first up where goat testineal rites of infernal fornication parasitic records and iron bonehead fuck yes oh my god some of the most vicious awesome bestial black death again war whatever you want to call it awesome evil fucking ross bay cult worship this is so good. I guess it's one of my favorite fucking war metal bands in general. And this release, hands down, their best material to date. Everything about this is absolutely fucking insane. From Goat Lust Invocation to At the Full Moon She Bleeds. Four ton lashes between the virgin's thighs. Oh my god, what a fucking brutal vicious onslaught of fucking black metal and that's what this is pretty much it's insanely sexualized blasphemous evil where goat testineal rites of infernal fornication love it and next up surprisingly this is one that you guys might not see coming and if you have not heard this band yet get on it they're amazing and I am talking about New Jersey's Death Fortress, Triumph of the Undying on Fallen Empire Records. First off, look at this artwork. Wow. Now, imagine a mortal hanging out with Archgoat. Yeah, this is that fucking gnarly sounding. Seriously, I, I cannot recommend this record enough to everyone out there, seriously. From Storming Wrath, The Warrior's Mantle, Battlefield Zenith, Wisdom of the Unspoken, the Triumph of the Undying, and Underneath the Epox Crown. Holy fucking shit. Total, total fucking... Second wave black metal worship, but with this just arch goat vibe to it. Killer fucking lyrics, amazing vocal delivery, some of the coldest riffs I've ever heard come out of New Jersey, and uh, featuring members from Siege Column, great stuff, um, you have one of Funeral Bomb's old drummers as well, this is amazing, amazing fucking stuff right here, Death Fortress, Triumph of the Undying on Fallen Empire Records. I can't recommend this enough. Seriously, this is so good. 
it was gonna be my number one black metal release of the year because seriously, it just it, it's it's brilliant. It's amazing. It's it's like somebody read my mind pretty much. Just like this next record, like the amount of viciousness mixed with just these fucking riffs that are just like yes, this is so goddamn good. And album of the year time. Black Solis banished from time. From Portugal, Iron Bonehead. Wow. I don't really know what else to say besides wow. This is probably some of the most raw, vicious, awesome, primitive, yet atmospherically drawling albums I might have ever heard. Like, seriously, this album spoke volumes to me. And I'm sorry for breaking the war, and the war is now against me for showing this record off, but from the art direction alone to the, the songs that just blend together as one, these five tracks are just unfuckable. Seriously, unfuckable. Just like that bass. Wow. Seriously, Banished from Time, Black Solis, I think this is their best material to date. Just killer Portuguese black metal done so fucking raw to the point where, like, it's an extra instrument, the production, and it's great. It's fucking fantastic. And I'm not just saying that. Like, this is really a fantastic piece of music and art. Like, like I said, the art design in general is gorgeous. Like, that's fucking so just dope looking. Killer, killer stuff right here. And I, I can't get enough of it. Like, seriously, I cannot stop spinning this fucking album. It's just, it's, it's an A+. Plus. It doesn't get much better than this for me, personally. But, like I said, I had to go over records that I owned, and yeah, this just, it stuck out from the fucking pack, and just, you need this in your life if you're a fan of just raw, grim, and just very, very well written and well done black metal. The lyrics on here are amazing, and just the, oh my god, everything about this is what I love about just black metal in general, like the whole entire vibes just give off, the atmosphere, nothing is random, everything has a purpose, everything has a meaning, but from the time Time with Spectre kicks off to the end of Rotting Corpses, You'll understand why I chose this as my album of the year, black metal wise. So fucking good. Black Solis banished from time. And yeah, that's my top three black metal records of 2017. Now, was the list that good? Ah, it's up to you guys. I mean, I know there's a lot gnarlier stuff I should have got. But hey, money doesn't grow on trees. So it happens but we've been blasting miami's caveman cult savage war is destiny so fucking good and uh yeah as always thanks for watching let me see your list below top three only put some honorable mentions in there like i did but i just want to hear what you guys have been listening to and what i should check out besides what i mentioned Antichrist Siege Machine just blew me away when I saw them live. I did not pick up the vinyl. I should have, but it happens. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hells.